In this video, we're gonna be using Angora Soaps Barbershop and the Feather SS Shave Out Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate it. And today we have a soap from a brand new artisan. This is Angora Soaps out of Northern Virginia here in the United States. And this is a veteran owned business. And this particular soap is the barbershop offering. And this was sent to me by Angora Soaps uh, along with a couple of other soaps, which I'm gonna try and I'm gonna give those away. So stay tuned. There'll be some Angora Soaps giveaways coming up soon. And I did scrape some out of this one. And this is a nice barbershop scent. It's reminiscent of say, um, Maggard London Barbershop, uh, Zingari the Wanderer, somewhere in that realm. Very nice scent strength, just a little bit under medium. So not too strong, not too light in my opinion. Uh, this comes to you for a good price, uh, $16 for 4.5 ounces. And that is $3.55 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a good price. We'll put the ingredients for you right here. And you have some good ingredients. This is a tallow-based soap. We got shea butter, coconut butter, lanolin, avocado oil. So some nice stuff in this soap. And this is my first ever run with Angora soaps, which was pointed out to me to, by a gentleman on Instagram. And I'm sorry, sir, I went to look for your message and I have so many messages, I couldn't find who it was. So if you are that individual, please comment below so I can thank you once again. So we're, we are looking forward to using this. I'll put the uh, scent notes for you right there if you're interested in how this breaks down. This is supposed to be reminiscent of a Turkish barbershop. And let's just get going today. Uh, 24 hours growth, which is standard for me. And we will mist and get going with our, uh, today we're using a Badger brush. This is the Ever Ready R40, which was sent to me by David from Augusta. I hope you're doing well, David. This is my favorite Badger brush and my only Badger brush. And as you can see there, we have a nice lather here in our Capsule's Choice bowl. And let's just get going today. This brush, it's so nice and soft. There is there is no scritch to it whatsoever or anything scrubby. And it has its original vintage not in it. I don't know how old this is. So if any of you know how old these Ever Ready R40 brushes is, are, excuse me, how old they are, please let me know. Because I'm curious. This is a very nice knot. Uh, and this is a truly a traditional brush. Unlike the, the modern Badger brushes that have all those treatments of the of the hair and all, all that good stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that, don't get me wrong, but this in terms of the brush is as traditional <laughs> as you can get. Um, old vintage Badger brush today. And no problems with the lather here, with the Angora. And again, my first job uh, run with it. And this again is a, uh, a veteran owned business, if that uh, means anything to you. Here is their card, by the way. And I think the gent who uh, runs Angora is an Air Force veteran like me, so aim high. <laughs> All right, enough flapping. Let's get going with our Feather SS Razor today. And this has the Feather Professional Blade in it, which is nice and smooth. I hope everyone is doing well today. I wanna thank everybody for all their thoughts and prayers for Jacob, my nephew. Uh, and he was rushed to the hospital, as I mentioned, um, about a week, not quite a week ago now. They did get that fever under control, um, so that's good. He still has a lot of treatments to go. He's about to begin six weeks of radiation. He has been undergoing chemo, and uh, they're moving to the radiation treatment now because the uh, the chemo so far has not... Uh, shrank the size of the tumor that's right around his bladder. And so we'll hope that they'll have some success with the radiation treatments. And uh, we'll just continue to hold out prayers for young Jacob. He's a, he's a strong young man. So um, I think once he gets through this, he's gonna be a very resilient young man as he's grown up as well. It, it's tough though. I'm not gonna lie, it's tough on his parents. It's tough on him, obviously. It's tough on the family. But thank you for all your kind words and thoughts and prayers and well wishes. I really, really appreciate that very, very much. It means a lot. And this, uh, this Feather SS just shaves beautifully. I really uh, enjoy 
using it. I like the blades. I like that long sort of monkey tail on it. Um, I always enjoy using it every time I use it. Does a great job. And the soap smells great. If you're a fan of Barbershop, again, this one is going to, you know, remind you of, say, Maggard London Barbershop, maybe Shannon's Barbershop. You know, somewhere in the realm of those Barbershop scents, I don't think Angora has a ton of scents yet. They are pretty new artisans. So if you're looking for something new, just you want to take a flyer. It's well priced and it's doing a great job so far. So, and again, we'll be... Uh, We'll be doing a giveaway with a, a couple of these Angora soaps coming soon, but you're going to want to keep it um, tuned here because we're, we're going to be giving away a lot of stuff. We already have uh, three giveaways ongoing right now, so go back and watch some of the videos from the last few days if you want to get in on those. Again, nice lather here in the Captain's Choice bowl. So no, no lathering problems with the Angora soaps. Plenty slick enough. No problems whatsoever today, and we didn't really expect any problems but you never know with the new artisans you know or a new artisan excuse me how it's going to go um you just have to try it and see what you think and uh, i like the idea that more people are, are coming in the more of you viewers who are out there enjoying this hobby and the more we can spread the word the more that these companies will enter the fray and it'll just give us more options for products and uh, that's a great thing in my view great competition and I really I really appreciate it when someone comes into the uh, business and they have their prices at a reasonable budget level and uh, because I I just think you know especially in these times where things are so uncertain it's nice to be able to get something at a decent price and when you come in and say five six dollars an ounce as a brand new artisan that's usually not appealing to me but you know me I don't want to spend any more than I have to, typically. And really, who does? But there is room for those premium offerings as well. And so there's nothing wrong with, you know, premium high-end software. Uh, for me, the value just isn't there. I don't get enough actual value for it to make sense. But I will, um, I will buy them if the scent is something really spectacular or unusual. But performance-wise, I find that... Um, these soaps like this one that are in the budget realm generally do everything I need from a shaving soap. Uh, but of course, that's just me. You may, ha may have specific needs, and that's one thing that we often don't talk about in this hobby is use case. And I do try to mention it fairly often. Um, your demands may be different from mine. Maybe you're waiting many days between shaving. I do not. I'm a seven-day-a-week shaver because I enjoy shaving and I have all this wonderful gear and I really enjoy sh um, sharing my experience you know with you guys and uh, that's part of the reason I do it every day also when it starts growing back it just gets very irritating for me by the way if you missed the video yesterday I banged the heck out of my head on the the, uh, the corner of a sort of a countertop the other day and it left a mark. <laughs> it left a really good mark. And it is sore. It didn't bruise, but uh, it's pretty sore. But it's healing up. And so maybe we'll try to do a head shave today and try not to irritate that too much. Because that is a good one. That's probably going to leave a scar. But at least uh, we didn't give ourselves a concussion, or at least I don't think I did. <laughs> Cause I hit it right on that corner and it just, whoop, and that thing was bleeding like crazy. Uh, I mentioned that yesterday and I was seeing red <laughs> and I did say a bad, uh, a few bad words, but you know, that's going to happen. Uh, you, you sort of get that sort of feeling when you uh, hit your head like that, it hurts. And I saw stars there for a minute. <laughs> so I sort of went down to, you know, I was raising up. I sort of went down to my new knee and composed myself. And uh, then I got up and it was bleeding like crazy. <laughs> it's good to see the stallion. Uh, by the way, if you haven't been following the stallion, using DEs and SEs. And that's just nice to see changing it up a little bit. Like uh, last year, you know, I got into straights and 
and Jay Vets, uh, and he was a big part of why I did that. And now he's getting into, you know, on occasion, he's always going to prefer straight razors. That's what he's used the vast majority of time that he's been involved in the hobby. And really, folks, whatever it is that you use the most, you will develop the most competency with that, and that's what will feel best, typically. And so, um, he, you know, has used straight razors, or orders of magnitude more than, than DE shaves. So he's always going to prefer that, most likely, because he would have to shave for DEs and SEs for years and years and years to catch up the amount of shaves he's done with straight razors. So there's no wrong or right way to do it. If you're enjoying it, grab a straight razor, grab a shave vet. Um, you know, come on into the freight. I found a lot of enjoyment last year. Nice lather there, by the way. I found a lot of uh, enjoyment last year in taking on straights and shavettes. And so we're, we work them in here regularly. We use a little bit of everything. And so for me, that just adds to the level of enjoyment. And if you hone, um, that takes it up even another notch when you're using your own edges. So I look forward to getting back into honing here in the next few weeks and putting some new edges on my razors. And uh, it, I look forward to trying them out. So. Hope all you guys are doing great. Hope the weather where you are is great. We had some snows um, there in December and some in November. Haven't had much so far in 2021. And honestly, I hope we don't get much because I'm not a big, <laughs> not a big fan of of the snow and having to dig out and all that and it makes it difficult to drive and. Um, so hoping that, uh, we really don't get a lot of snow for the remainder of this year, but we expect some, it's, it's, uh, the winter is still young. So, um, I also just hope we avoid those bitter cold temperatures as much as possible. I'm just not a fan of cold weather. I did grow up in it, but, uh, as I've gotten older, I just don't like it. I loved it when I was younger. I don't know. It's just one of those things, you know. But wherever you are, hope your weather has uh, been good. And let me know below. I mean, what's the weather been like there? I'm interested to see, especially for those of you who live in different parts of the world, what sort of temperatures are you experiencing? And of course, here we're in Fahrenheit. So I don't know what the conversion from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit is. But today here, this morning... It's about, I think, 25 degrees, which is pretty cold. Um, 32 is freezing on Fahrenheit. And so it's, it's pretty cold out um, today. But it really gets cold when it's below zero. That's when you go outside and just everything is crisp and you're like, ooh. <laughs> so um, hopefully where you are, you're having decent weather for the winter. Assuming it is winter wherever you are. Um, we're doing okay, so I, I, I can't gripe too much. We've had a little bit of snow around Christmas. It was a beautiful white Christmas. Um, but everything has come together pretty nice lately, weather-wise. Just not being crazy cold. Um, the soap, I haven't talked about it much. But as you can see, I've had no problems with it. The scent is very nice. It's slick. Um, i say you can, you can give this a shot. Um, it's a very nicely priced So they seem to have a, a formula here that's working well for me today. But again, your needs may be different from mine. I do not need a lot of exotic ingredients in my routine. So this soap worked very well for me. I had a good first run with it, so no problems there. All right, let me rinse. We will come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. It's a toner. It's got, uh, of course, witch hazel in it. It's got some aloe in it, and I use it every day. My post-shave routine that I mentioned yesterday, and I wanted to start, I mentioned it. After the shave, I'll do a warm water rinse to get the soap off my face. I will use the PAA alum, apply it to my face, and then I will do a cold water rinse, and then we towel off with our um, Lancaster towel, and I'm told some of these will be dropping in the near future, so if you're interested, um, I'll link Lancaster Razorworks below. 
Okay, we had an excellent shave today. Used the Feather SS, uh, Artist Club style shave at razor. Absolutely terrific. It was our first run with Angora Soaps out of Virginia. Veteran owned business, business, excuse me, barbershop. Thumbs up, I enjoyed it. So thank you so much, Angora. We used our Ever Ready Vintage R40 that was sent to, to uh, us by David of Augusta. Thank you so much, David. This is my own one and only Badger brush and I absolutely love that vintage brush. It, it's all I need. <laughs> and we're gonna close it out today with Shannon Soaps Barbershop, which has a very similar scent to the Angora Barbershop. Another well-priced, very nice artisan. And we're gonna splash this on, and then we're gonna be on our way to an excellent day. And I hope wherever you are, you have an excellent day as well. I'm wishing you many blessings. Thanks again for your kind words and prayers for Jacob. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for joining me. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, George Shape, do it your way. And as always, God bless.